Welcome back to my channel, Cozy Dreamlights, and welcome in if you are new. Today, we are going to work on the left side of my plaza by making a cottagecore town. There are two parts to this video. Welcome to part one. The main inspo for this build you can check out on my Pinterest, which I have linked in the description down below to see where I got my inspo. The board is called Cottage Core Plaza. First, we will start with the general layout. For a town build, I basically wanted to emphasize the walkway so the buildings will be quite close together and it's kind of like a forced perspective build. I love the look of this. Everything being so close together gives me such cozy vibes too. I'm going to start with the basic layout of pathing and I'm using the white brick bordered path. trying a couple things with the pathing here. I wasn't really sure the direction that I wanted to go, but like I always say in every video, decorating is trial and error. I decided to add in the basic house to this build. I am choosing the blue color since it matches well. My primary house or the house you appear in front of while logging into the game was the cottage. So in order to place down the basic blue house, I had to change the skin of the cottage to the basic one and then replace the cottage later, which is, I felt a little bit unnecessary. And unfortunately the cottage is no longer my primary house, but I do hope that Disney allows us to choose that and be able to change that in the future. I decided to place the blue house next to Remy's. I really love the look of the side of this house, which truly adds to the cottage core vibe that we are going for. Next, I'm going to extend the path here to reflect the new home that we just placed down. Here we will just make some minor adjustments to our road. And now it's time to run through our build just to make sure that the general feel is what we're going for and I feel that this is coming along quite nicely. Next, we will add in a gazebo to the left of this build. My vision here is to make it a cafe sitting area eventually, but it also kind of balances out this build very well. Also adding a small hedge to the left of the gazebo as a transition area for the sunlit plateau. Now I 
am going to add the framework for part two of this build. I'm placing down the fairy tale gazebo, but I'm rotating it in a way where we will mostly see the floral elements instead of the purple banners on it. I am not a fan of the purple banners. I would like them removed altogether. Now I will lay out some pathing under the gazebo. I will also begin to connect our plaza centerpiece with this town build as well. And then I'm also going to try to connect um, the pathing down to the meadow. utilizing the diagonal square pathing from my recent border path video. If you're struggling with diagonal pathing with the new roads, go ahead and check out that video tutorial. just trying to get a general feel of what I want to do with the gazebo and I was thinking of making it kind of like a courtyard feel. Um, this is another one of my path ideas from the uh, tutorial on border paths that I mentioned before. Next, I will use my checkered path idea again from my video tutorial for the transition area to the sunlit plateau. Now that we have the pathing complete, it is time to decorate our cottage core town area. I am going to start with the apartment complex. I recently hopped into my friend Nora's stream and I loved how she had little sitting areas next to the apartment with the brick fencing, which goes really well with the building. She is my inspo for this part of our build today. Nora is an amazing content creator. I've linked her YouTube in the description down below. Go give her a sub. playing around with the fencing here until I decide on what works best. Then we can add in some trees. I do like to work from the back of our build and then move forward. I wanted to check how the trees look from the front of the build here, and we can add in some more trees in various areas. Thank you. 
Okay, let's run through our new little sitting areas and this will help us brainstorm some simple furniture placement next. I use quite a bit of different items in this build, so feel free to slow down the video and pause if you need to see the specific item name. If you made it this far in the video, consider joining our cozy Discord community. We talk about everything Dreamlight Valley and other cozy games, and we also run some decorating contests every once in a while. I look forward to seeing you in there. I'm going to pull some of the flowers that naturally grow in the plaza to fill in some space in our sitting areas. Now we can start playing around with some furniture placement. I really like the look of the flower beds in front of the apartment complex and I kind of also extended it to the right of our build as well to kind of outline our road. If you don't have the exact items that I'm using, don't worry, just pick ones that are similar in size and it will still look beautiful.
going to add in some more brick fencing here and the well, which the well actually matches the rooftop of the buildings that we're using in this build. So I thought it would go nicely. table is one of my favorite cottage core items. It is one of my favorite items just in general and we're going to use these as the primary tables for that cafe cottage core town vibe that we're going for. I'm also making room to place florals behind it. I wanted that cozy floral cottage core vibe where you kind of just go sit outside at a cafe, at a bistro, and you just sip your coffee and there's just beautiful flowers around you in a cozy little vintage town. I decided on the kitchen chair, the simple kitchen chair as our seating. If you don't have this, you can choose any other chair. Um, the wooden one that you can craft would work well too. It looked like a little bit too cluttered on the left side, so I decided to move one of the tables to the right. I'm gonna add in a couple of the yellow floral bikes. I'm gonna add one by my home and then one in the middle of the village. This is going, this really reminds me of like Animal Crossing. There's this one build that I made in Animal Crossing where I had one of the bikes and it was kind of like a path that you look down, almost like a, I don't know, like a road, but there's like heavy buildings on each side and it led to Marshall's house. So this kind of reminds me of that build that I posted in the past. Okay, so I am actually very happy with this. Look at these angles. This is looking so cozy, so beautiful, so vintage. And I love this little plaza, this cottage core area.
The more floral elements, the better, so I'm adding in some potted plants as well. This up close angle right here is so amazing. I am in love with this. I wish I could go here in real life. <laughs> So now we can start to fill in the garden areas in front. I think this is where um, you know, we'll finish up the final details, but I do want those two plots of grass to be a little bit more full. So let's work on that now. I do want to add in some lighting, so we'll place these right in front of the apartment complex. Our build isn't complete quite yet, but I do want to run through it and see if we need to fill in anything or maybe we made some errors. And it looks like to the right of our entrance from the fountain or the, the, the dreamlight tree, we need to make some adjustments to this area. So now we can play with some final details and just play around with different items. You'll see me switch in and out a bunch of different items here.
This build is giving me small town, village, like your local boutique vibes, your local cafe vibes, just like a really small town feel to everything. I'm in love with this. This turned out way better than I thought it would. I was struggling here with item placement because there's only a certain area that you can place items in next to different buildings and it was a little bit extended here likely because of the mailbox. I did opt instead to maybe use some bushes and add in some ferns as well. Of course, I love using the butterfly flowers, so we'll add a few of those in here too. Now for the final touches, I am going to drop some floral elements and place those where I think they look best. I did do some cooking to place some food and beverages on the tables to complete the cafe look. So let's drop those and let's place them.
Okay, our build is complete. I am so happy with how this turned out. I did post pictures of this build on my socials. You can find them in the description down below. Stick around until the end of this build to see what it looks like at night. I also wanted to say thank you so much for 6k subs. I am just completely floored and humbled. I appreciate you all so much. If you enjoyed your time with me today and haven't subscribed yet, please consider hitting that sub button to help my channel grow. I also appreciate likes and comments as it helps push my video out into the YouTube algorithm so that others can enjoy. Let me know what you think of this build. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see all of you lovelies next time in part two.